Good evening, everyone. Steve Calf, 5 JUF. Hope everyone's having a good evening tonight. Uh, the purpose of tonight's video is we had a subscriber ask a good question, and there is a, a, a feature in the radio for the FT991A. It's called the 5 and 10 hertz step. Now, this step particularly is uh, specific for LSB, upper sideband, CW, RTTY, data LSB, and data USB. So kind of to go over what the, the what this function button does is if you think about the VFO itself, this is just a quick overview. And of course, to access it, you press the FM list and there will be a button that will be labeled 5 to 10 hertz. But what we're doing is, and of course, one thing I should mention very important is uh, on the 991A, there is a uh, button referred to as fast. Now, this fast button, if it is... This, all of the settings that I'm showing you on the screen tonight for 5 to 10 hertz, uh, the fast button has to be disabled. And I'll show you that in the video, how to turn it off. But what this, what this is really about is it's about uh, resolution or um, granularity is the best word I can say. Um, in these particular modes, lower sideband, upper sideband, CW and RTTY, data and so forth, you can you can scan the uh, band with your VFO in increments of 10 hertz by default, or you can also scan it in uh, 5 hertz, which is the alternate setting. Now, what this does for you is in narrower bandwidths, this might give you the possibility to be able to to fine tune in a signal a little bit closer than what you might be able to. Uh, in 10 hertz versus 5 hertz. So think about it as data points. Uh, the 5 hertz will give you uh, a little bit higher resolution, more data points, so you might be able to bring in uh, a far off signal, particularly if you're working CW and so forth, because remember CW is a very, very narrow bandwidth. So again, all of these settings are with the fast button, and this is important, it has to be disabled. So by default, this is when you turn the VFO, you will see, you, what you don't see is this right here. And I'll, I'm going to make this bold. You, don't, you do not see these uh, frequencies down here. You don't see them. All you see is 10 hertz, 20 hertz, 30 hertz, 40 hertz, and 50 hertz. So that's important. Now, if we enable the resolution to go to 5 hertz, let me show you what happens. So this is here. This is 10 hertz by default. So this frequency here is 28400, and then, of course, it's all the way across. Now, if we enable the 5 hertz, this is what changes. Now we have a little bit more finite resolution. Instead of having resolution at 10, 10 hertz, which is what we have here, now we go a little bit more finite, if you will. We, we, we get a little bit deeper. So now you see, this is what you see. This is what you don't see. So you're able to actually tune with higher resolution. So you might be able to bring in the CW station a little bit closer. So... But anyway, we'll go ahead and go to the video. And again, this is, like I said, this is this is the, the difference here. All right, good evening, everyone. It's Steve Cav, I'm J.U. up again. I'm going to try to go ahead and uh, kind of go over some stuff. Uh, this was an inquiry from a subscriber on how the 5 and 10 kilohertz switch works. So hopefully this will be a little bit clearer. I don't think I did a very good job on the Word document, but... Uh, I'll go ahead and try to go go over it here. So when you're in uh, upper sideband, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to upper sideband. If you're in upper sideband, lower sideband, CW, RTTY, data LSS, LSB, and data USB, there is a function located under the uh, function menu. So to access that, you'll press this uh, function M list. Now what we're looking for is there is a function button here called 5 to 10. 
Now right now I have this in 5, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press this once. Now I'm in 10. So you, the thing about the FT991A is what you have to think about is this right here, <laughs> let me get the yellow, this right here is 1 kilohertz. This is 1 megahertz. So you got to kind of think about this from a mathematical standpoint. You have uh, tenths, oh wait, excuse me, you have one tenths, hundreds, thousands. Ten thousands, hundred thousands, and then it goes on over to, to mega or million. But what I want to show you here is if I have the radio set here, and this is how you change it, you just press it once and it'll change to five, press it again and it'll change to ten. If I have it to ten, you're going to see this number change. Now, I did not mention this earlier, but in the, we always want to make sure if, particularly if you want to utilize the 5 to 10 kilohertz, or excuse me, the 5 to 10 hertz, you need to make sure this is turned off. And right now it's turned off. I'm going to turn it on just to show you. You see the little LED right there? I need to turn this off because if, if, if I have this turned to fast, then all of these, everything changes. So to utilize the 5 to 10 hertz uh, uh, granularity, or granularity is the best word I'm trying to say, the, the, uh, the resolution, you need to make sure the fast is turned off. And it is off right now. So right now, if you watch this, you'll see this change. Now we're at 10, 10 hertz, so this is... 1 hertz. Oops, I have to unlock it. I apologize. This is 1 hertz, 2 hertz, 3 hertz, 4 hertz, or 40 hertz, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, 70 hertz, 80, 90, 100 hertz. That's 100 hertz right there. So if I keep turning this, watch this. This is actually now, this is 1 kilohertz. 0 tenths, hundredths, thousands. So that's under the 10 hertz. So I'm going to set this back. Now, you can't see this, but you have to kind of get the feel for it with the video. If I change this to 5 hertz, you can't see 5 because it's not showing on the display. It's over here. It's hiding. It's hiding. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this to 5. Now watch this. This particular step here is going to go a little bit slower. Because there's another number over here changing, but we can't see it. I'm going to go back down. Now when I change it back to 10, now this number is directly going to change. Watch this. See how fast it is? Now I'm going to change it back to 5. Now we're over here, we're hidden. We can't see 5 on the display. So you notice it changes a little bit slower. Because there is a 5 over here, we just can't see it. But we can, we can hear it, we just can't see it. I'm going to turn it back. Now we're going to turn it back to 10. Watch this. See how much faster it goes? So the ideal here is if you want to get extremely uh, highly uh, resolution, you can always make sure that your, your fast is disabled. As long as it's disabled, now we can actually go in and, and use this. So the ideal here is you're able to dial in uh, frequencies with a little bit higher resolution than you might if you were at 10. So that's the purpose of this. I hope this video is helpful. It, it may not be very helpful, but the, the purpose was to show you if you're one, if you want to make your
tuning a little bit more precise you can go to 5 and you can bring in a little bit closer maybe a little bit more finite uh, resolution than what you might with 10 see how much faster it goes so I hope that helps uh, like I said this was kind of, this is kind of a tough video to do but the purpose of the video was just to make sure that you understand that um, you know this is 1 megahertz this is one kilohertz so uh, it's kind of a mathematical thing but if we're looking at 10 Hertz uh, again this is 10 Hertz 20 Hertz 30 Hertz 40 Hertz 50 Hertz 60 Hertz 70 Hertz 80 Hertz 90 Hertz 100 Hertz and if we keep going up uh, to 99 now this is 900 this is 999 Hertz uh, if once we jump over here now we're at a thousand Hertz or one kilohertz per se so uh, I'll take this back down I hope this was clear I apologize if it wasn't but if I go to five now the step is much slower see there's a five there's 35 40 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 95. You just can't see it over there. That's the problem. So, all right. Well, I hope this was helpful. I apologize if it wasn't. I can redo another one, but I thought this might be something at least good to talk about. So, all right. From KI5JUF, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.